Hi guys and girls and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a low poly apple tree and I'm also going to show you the way to get that very low poly triangular look to your mesh. This was requested by John Doe on Twitter and he asked me if I could make a apple tree. He also sent me a reference image and you can see that this looks very low poly and it has a lot of triangles so I'm going to show you how you can do that. He also asked me if I could make this into an asset on the asset store and I'm going to do that but they, that will take a few days. First I'm going to spawn in a cube and then just press shift tab and move the cube up so it's uh, it's flat on the ground. And then press shift control alt c origin 3d cursor. You can press shift tab again and now we're going to start. First thing we want to do is create a trunk. I'm just going to add a loop cut in the middle. Like that. And now we're going to just extrude up. I add another loop cut here. Just scale this up a bit more. So I want to set up the trunk for the for the one of the for one of the branches. So I'm just going to extrude a bit. And the second branch is going to be coming out of here. But now I want to make the other branch, so just extrude and move this, rotate it, add a loop cut, scale it, scale this, and maybe you can even rotate this and then move it down a bit. I'm gonna move it like this. I would say that looks pretty good for one of the branches. And now we're just going to go to face select mode and select this and then extrude. And now you can do the same thing, rotate, add a loop cut, scale, move it until you get the desired shape. I'm just going to move this a bit. Okay, so this looks pretty good for the basic trunk, except I would like to scale this. Next thing, just go to the modifiers tab and add in a triangulate modifier. You can see that it doesn't change much, but what we can do is we can select kind of this line of vertices and then just rotate it on the Z axis. And you can see that that adds much more triangles. Do the same thing here, just rotate. And if you're gonna Rotate these, rotate them around the x-axis. And you can see that this looks much more low poly. Apply the modifier and now we're gonna make the leaves. So just go in and uh, add in a icosphere. Move it up, then just rotate it and scale it however you want to. Like this. Actually, before we do that, I would like to go to your trunk and then just go to face select mode. If you're going to be using this for a game, just delete these two vertices, uh, I mean faces, these two faces and the bottom two faces. This is just to optimize the mesh a bit more. Okay, just go back to this. I think this is pretty good. And now I'm just going to press shift D and maybe scale this other one a bit down, rotate it. But you can see that this doesn't look very good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this to this sphere and just gonna add in a decimate modifier. And then just move this slider a bit down. And you can see that it looks much more low poly. Do the same thing for the other one. And it looks much more low poly. Apply the modifiers. And now we're gonna create some apples. Now we're gonna create some apples. So just, just add in a icosphere. And I like to put my subdivisions here to 1. And you can see this will be our apple, so just scale it down. And then just we're gonna put it put it somewhere in the in the leaves. Just shift D and put place them around the around the tree. If you want, you can go press 7 on your numpad and then you're gonna go to the top view. This is very good for pla just placing them. 
Okay, I think that's enough apples. What we're gonna do, we're gonna select each apple and then just randomly rotate it a bit. If you are using this for your game and you want a apple asset, you can just select a apple, duplicate it, press N, and up here set the location to 0, 0, 0 and set the rotation to 0, 0, 0 and then you can export this as a separate prefab and then you can use this for your apple and making apples fall, fall from the tree and stuff like that what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna select all the apples then I'm gonna go to the materials tab and add in a new material, call it apple then I'm gonna select the leaves add in a leaves material and then the trunk and add in the trunk material and I can select everything and just press ctrl J and it's added in together if for some reason your materials don't work properly just go back in select these things you can do so by pressing L while hovering over apples And then just assign the apple material to them. If I change the apple material, okay, you can see it happened again. Just assign the leaves material here, and you can see you got a pretty nice tree. What I would do actually is just I would select this top part right here, and then maybe just rotate it a bit. I think it looks much nicer now. You can see that our tree looks very nice, it will look even better if you import it into Unity, but I guess you know how to do that, if you don't, I have a video on that. So hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want me to make any other kind of videos, and uh, subscribe. Also follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.